this week on Wisconsin Foodie. I haven't been to the State Fair since I was 10 years old, and today is the day. French fries and some wine. Yeah. Adam Pollock, judge for the State Fair Sporkies. The craziest, most creative, most fun food that tastes really good too. So it's just straight hedonism. That's super good. Yeah. If you can eat it, it's here. Yeah, or <laughs> if it's here, you can eat it. You're handed food on a stick, you're just expected to try it. It's so fun to show off all of the amazing cheeses that come from throughout the state of Wisconsin. 404 entries in uh, 35 categories. We're at the Wisconsin Cheese Auction. The creme de la creme, literally. And we will award a Grandmaster Cheesemaker at the end of this contest. Okay, the 2023 Wisconsin Grandmaster Cheesemaker is... Wisconsin Foodie would like to thank the following underwriters. Well, thanks again, everybody, for coming and helping at the contest. Really appreciate it. My name is Nicole Barless, and I am the president of the Wisconsin State Fair Dairy Promotion Board. So today we are at the Wisconsin State Fair Dairy Products Contest, where basically dairy products from around the state of Wisconsin come in to State Fair to get judged, and we will award a Grandmaster Cheesemaker at the end of this contest. So when it comes to the state of Wisconsin, we still are America's dairy land. And when it comes to producing top quality cheeses and dairy products, we are number one. So it's so fun here at the Wisconsin State Fair to show off all of the amazing cheeses that come from throughout the state of Wisconsin. And it's really neat to see the number of different varieties, types, and styles that come here to the state fair and how amazing those cheeses taste. This is the behind the scenes moment for our dairy products contest. Basically, as you can see, there are a lot of boxes, a lot of cheese and dairy products coming in here. Our board members basically sort them into different classes. So the hard cheddars are in one class and flavored cheeses might be in a different class. Our curds are in another class. So we're taking those classes, we're opening the cheeses up, we're presenting them to the judges, and then bringing them back behind the curtains to repackage them up and put them away. Well, it's Randy Swenson. I'm a cheese judge for the Wisconsin State Fair Cheese and Butter Contest, and I've been judging at the contest for nine years. Today we have 404 entries in uh, 35 categories today. When the judges are scoring, they're basically starting with a 100-point score system, and they're deducting points from there. First of all, they'll pull the plug out, and they'll smell it, and that's your odors, where they're looking for off odors and everything like that. And then they're holding on to the cheese and actually feeling the textures and the bodies of it, which could be curdy, could be a little corky, could be either firm, soft, weaky, or pasty. And they'll take a certain amount off of that if it's very slight, slight, definite, or pronounced. And then they'll put that cheese in their mouth and they'll actually taste it. And that's when you're gonna take points off for if it's acid, bitter, uncleans, anything like that, salty, or too high of salt, or too low of salt. And then after that, they're actually gonna look for the color defects also. So that's what they're looking for to actually come up with the score for the cheese in every class. There will not be a cheese that scores 100. There's gonna be something off on every piece of cheese. So you're not gonna get 100. If you get 100, I wanna see it. Every time this time of year, I get all excited for the state fair. I like to see the cheeses come in. I get to see all the stuff made in the state of Wisconsin. I think the quality of the cheeses through the years is getting better and better, and that's due to all of the Wisconsin Master Cheesemaker programs that they do at the Center for Dairy Research. Every year it gets better and better. That's a, that's a really nice, that's a really good That's one. my favorite one. That's a really good one. That and then the raspberry. So after this dairy products contest today, we basically are able to identify our class winners and our first, second, and third place cheeses today. Those cheeses actually stay in coolers until August when fair comes and they're actually put on display at the Wisconsin State Fair. 
All of the rest of the cheese that comes in is actually sold today. It leaves in a truck this afternoon. Um, it goes to a local purchaser who is able to sell that cheese, which supports scholarships and our dairy promotion activities at the Wisconsin State Fair. And then what we do is we actually host a dairy products auction during the Wisconsin State Fair, where the first place cheeses are actually sold. And again, all of those funds come back to our board to benefit dairy promotion. I haven't been to the State Fair since I was 10 years old. And today is the day. We're on the way. In order to establish a little bit of credibility, I have with me my son Silas and Arthur's son, Ilya. And we're on our way to Bayview to pick up owner and chef of Egg and Flour, Adam Pollock, who actually serves as a judge for the State Fair Sporkies, a competition to basically discern the most interesting and unique foods at the State Fair. I'm super excited to walk through with all this additional perspective and hopefully find some of the culinary treasures that lie in the State Fair. What's, What's up, up dude? How are you doing? I'm great. How are you, my the man? The legendary truck. <laughs> exactly. It's We're a here. van. A van. Legendary <laughs> van. Jerry Seinfeld's got comedians in cars getting coffee. We've got chefs in vans getting curds. Getting curds and everything else. Yeah, seriously. I am hungry, and I gotta believe that as a judge of the Sporkies, you might have a little bit of a, a game plan for what we gotta do in here. I do, so we gotta take the big stuff down first. Okay. Get that out of the way. We're gonna go to, the, I think, the top three Sporky winners this year, and that's all about food that's created just for a competition of the craziest, most creative, most fun food that tastes really good, too. Okay, so go easy on gonna, me, would you? That's not up to me, that's up to the fair. <laughs> The fair is now in control. In your destiny. Yeah, exactly. Well, should we go in? Let's do it. Let's do it. I gotta say, this is definitely a feast for the senses. Like, it is. The first thing that you're gonna smell is either the animals or the cheese curds. Yeah, and it's kind of a beautiful hot mix of both. Yeah, it is. That's think, the whole point. There's something about being from the Midwest where you like kind of get into that half horse, half funnel cake, half cheese curd. And the best part about it is that you're okay with it. Yeah, exactly. And like, you don't even realize you're okay with it because you're just walking around appreciating it. Exactly. It's just home. The Sporky's winner, the Wisconsin Beer Cheese Lava Cake. You got yeah. it. As you can see, we're back here where we're making all the lava cakes. We won the Sporky this year. Yesterday was one of our slower days and we sold 1,800 orders. Our busiest days sell about 5,000. All right, my man, so we're starting at the top. We're starting at the top. Number one this year, Sporky's winner, the bun from Milwaukee Pretzel Company. They fill it with beer cheese uh, soup. And then there's hot honey and then your classic movie theater salt. Yeah. That you need. This is gonna be a good bite, isn't this it? This is good. It should, it should explode, it should be in there. This is one of my favorites when I was judging for sure, so. Okay, let's give it a shot. We'll do it right here. I gotta say like that hot honey, it's the perfect foil to like all that rich saltiness. But this is like, I think all the things in like the Midwestern palate, salty, sweet, fat, and then you Tons get that. Yeah, exactly. And it all kind of comes together in one yeah. super cheese stuff bite. And that little sweetness. Like yeah. that, that's like, that, that what helps it. If anything, it's just going to be a pretzel with cheese. You know, I think that's what takes it over. You don't have to eat it all. No, I'm not going to. I'm not going to eat it all. Well, maybe I'm going to eat it all. I don't know. <laughs> it's really good. It is good. <laughs> This was delicious. Yes. Where are we up to next, my man? We are going to Camp Bar. Okay. They have the second are. place Porky's yeah. winner, and it's actually sweet. We're getting the Porky Sunday. Okay, All let's right. do it. Let's go. We're here at Camp Bar. We are the second place winner of this Porky competition with our Porky Sunday, which is a custard Sunday loaded with a bunch of goodness that you would expect here at the Wisconsin State Fair kind of played homage to our old owner of this facility, Rapinas, as they partnered with us to create this Sunday. Cheesecake bites, caramel, chocolate, they have a bacon strip that's covered in sprinkles, and then more bacon on top. So this is just straight hedonism. This is why we make it the second stop. <laughs> oh my gosh. This could honestly be the first and only stop. This thing is massive. It is, and it's good It's good for kids, family. They can all just sit down and uh, get after and probably still not finish it. It's like raining bacon right now. It is. <laughs> I 
Oh my gosh. You gotta get everything on there. All right, here we go. Here we go. Cheers. The saltiness of the bacon, that subtle smoky. You've got the whipped cream, you've got the custard, you've got the cheesecake bite. You got the sprinkles, the cherry, the graham cracker. Keep going, keep the going. The caramel, going. the chocolate, like all of it together. Yeah, I kind of feel like the bacon's like the nuts on <laughs> yeah. a Sunday. You know, something <laughs> sweet and savory is like that. Their take on that. Well, uh, you know, it's gonna be a tough act to follow, but uh, that will. sounds like a legitimate uh, endeavor into our culinary future. That's right, and we're heading over to uh, to Saz's. All right. All right. Let's, let's go. Do what do we got on that map? We're here to uh, try your deep fried apple pie. Okay, I think, just yeah, one. just one, please. <laughs> All right, number three, the deep fried apple pie from the Saz, right? Yes, this one is actually super special because it's not just the apple pie dropped in the fryer, it's actually wrapped in French toast batter with the filling on the inside, then it's sauced with cinnamon sugar, then caramel drizzle. Like, this one was really good, but that's why we only got one. Yeah. I can't do a full one. <laughs> The moment of truth. Mm. That's super good. Yeah, it is a winner. Rich custardy filling. You get that cinnamon and sugar nuance. Obviously the apple. Yeah, this is this is legit. I was talking about this at the Sporty Sales. Like, not only is the creativity, but it's about the way that the food is cooked. Mm -hmm. The apples are cooked perfect. They're not mm -hmm. under. They're not over. It's not mushy. You know where they are. It's kind of like a surprise in there. Yep. I love it. Apple surprise. Very, very good one. <laughs> we'll finish this one. Yep. So I think the people that come to the safe fair that actually know is we call this like the main drag, okay. right? It's kind of like the middle of the big festivals. The main drag, this is going to have the classic stuff, the chili cheese fries, the pizza, the funnel cake, deep fried Oreos, all that kind of stuff. Okay. Fried pickles, pickle pizza, mod sticks. All the crazy stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alligator ribs they oh. have here. So, <laughs> I mean, why not? If you why can not? eat it, it's here. Yeah, or, yeah, or <laughs> if it's here, you can eat it. It's yeah. kind of saying like, hey, we already we already got to this point. We're here and enjoy it. All right, I'm in. I'm in. All right, so Adam's got the foot long. Naturally. I've got the dill dog. So uh, without further ado, just gotta unhinge my jaw for this thing. Hmm. Yes. Is there any hot dog in there? Or just oh, there is. It is inside the pickle. It's like a hot dog surprise. The dill pickle in there is actually kind of a nice textural touch. It's for you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure. I'll get down on a dill dog. The classic way for the foot long is just. Keep sliding her down for more bites. This is a classic, but still, it's literally perfect. Yeah. All right, so now we are in the wine pavilion, correct? Correct. And we are here with our good friend, Jessica Bell. Jessica, you're no stranger to Wisconsin Foodie Productions. No, um, good to be back. And since I don't drink, I just get to facilitate this wonderful conversation. I love it. About the Wisconsin wine flight, correct? Correct, so we have four flights. Okay. And I've chosen the Taste of Wisconsin. So the Taste of Wisconsin are based on all grapes that are grown in Wisconsin. So what's the first on the wine flight? So we've got uh, Sparkling from the Blind Horse Winery, which is in Kohler, Wisconsin. And this one is made from lacrosse grape. So that's a hybrid, but it is made in the Champagne method. So it's taking Wisconsin influence and adding on French technique. So what's great about these wines is that they're going to be really high in acid. So uh, Wisconsin's cold, and so you're going to get high acid grapes. And so sparkling wine tastes awesome when you have uh, some acid on it. Yeah, Definitely. And it goes great with like corn dogs or fried food. So this is great to carry. French fries wine. and some wine. <laughs> yes, absolutely. So this is perfect fair. I approve of fair wine. Fair going, yeah. fair I like going that. wine. I like exactly. that. All right, number two. 
So we've got Cold Country Itasca. So this is a new grape that's hit Wisconsin, and it's got a lot of promise. This is the wine that I would drink. So if we can get a case of this, <laughs> all right. This is it. On camera. There is he no wants a burn. Case. There is no burn to this. I could drink a lot. Isn't of this, this a it's clean really wine? Yeah. Okay. okay, number three, we've got El Maro. So you guys are familiar oh, yeah. with El Maro. Tremble right? out. Yes. So this is a Marquette grape. Marquette is doing really well in Wisconsin. How I would it go with the dill dog? The dill dog. <laughs> well, I with the dill dog. I mean, if you want to know the pairing, yeah. I would do. I would probably do the Itasca. Okay. Okay. Sure. Sweet, salty. There's a wine. Acid. There's a wine pairing for even the fair food. Yeah. I would tear every food in this place right. yeah. with this. All right, four. All right, number four. This is, uh, the grape is Petite Pearl. Mm -hmm. And that means they're small grapes when they're called Petite, like Petite Syrah. Those yeah. are small grapes. And so you're gonna get this really dark color on it. And it's from Vines and Rushes. So this is just outside of Ripon, Wisconsin. All right. Number five. Now this one is Chateau St. Croix, which is north. The way Irv, the owner, likes to describe it, it's in the, it's the booger of the nose in, on the west side of Wisconsin. Yeah. Do you know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. So they're in the booger. Okay. 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 <laughs> so Chateau St. Croix. So it's going to taste the best. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> These are straight from the boogers. I can't say enough how excited I am to see this market emerge. Absolutely. Right? For years, yeah. it was just super sweet Wisconsin wines to combat all that acidity in those grapes. Right. We've got the local food and we do have the local wine. We have a number of producers who are really rising to the occasion and producing world-class dry and sweet wines. We're about to check out the Wisconsin Products Pavilion, which for me is the most exciting part of the fair. Getting to see like the innovation and the love and the care and the craftsmanship that goes into all this, I'm so excited. A lot of options, and this is something that you have to come to. A lot of people bypass and think it's just about the food, it's really about these products as well. One of my favorite stands that they have is the grilled cheese, literally just sitting there all day ripping grilled cheese for people, you know. <laughs> one of the good stands for sure. In a really Midwestern way, this whole pavilion is dripping with swagger. Oh, right? yes. It's people who do like a very specialized thing. Very specific. And I think the opposite end of the spectrum to the fact that like people may consider us culinary flyover yeah. is the fact that we are anchored right here in the Midwest where we've got the good soil, the good water, the good air. The good animals. Yeah. You know, like everything that's here is, is here for a reason and that's why we get all these great products. It doesn't just show up out of nothing. Exactly. The reason that I'm here today is to check out the Wisconsin cheese auction yes. uh, this afternoon. Yes, which there's no shortage of great Wisconsin cheese. Everything here has a place. And you were telling me about some of these that I haven't seen before, but they're actually very like prominent and what they're doing is super special to them. You know, you see smoky pepper all the way to the sartori that we love and the raw. I could go by this case and have 20 or 30 new recipes using this cheese <laughs> and not using the basic stuff that everyone's used to. You just made it. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Thank you. Yeah. So what do you think? What was the best bite today, honestly? You know, the one that's uh, sticking to me right now, probably the Joe Pepper pizza. I really yes. like that. You know, it's pretty balanced. It was a good bite. It was. I like that one. I like the apple pie. Yeah. I feel like they should have an option for like a scoop of ice cream on there if you want. Right. Charge another $11 yeah. for it. <laughs> you know, I don't think that there's really probably a bad bite out here. No, of course not. Oh man, is this where we part ways? This is where we part ways. I gotta get back to the restaurant. You have to go uh, to the cheese auction. Yeah. I appreciate you having me. I hope you uh, enjoyed your first ever Wisconsin Safe Fair. Dude, this was a riot. To be able to walk around here with you, this has been a dream. Uh, I'm a huge fan of you and everything that you're doing in Milwaukee. And my brother, anytime I can return the favor. I appreciate you come down the Egg and Flour and we'll eat as much pasta as we ate here. All right, that sounds great, man. Thanks, have a good Liz. day. Appreciate yeah. you. Creme de la creme, literally. We're at the Wisconsin Cheese Auction. All the first place winners get auctioned off, Dear and I am so excited to see what's on this spread. All right, Nicole, can you set us up? Where are we at right now? So all of our award-winning cheeses, they were judged back in June here at the State Fair, 
and then they even select a winner, a Grandmaster Cheesemaker, that gets announced here tonight. But basically, those cheeses are judged then, and then they come here tonight, the first place cheeses get to get auctioned off here. That's amazing. It's gotta be a thrill for the cheesemakers and for the people bidding on the auction. Yeah, it's very exciting for the cheesemakers. It really shows that they're the best of the best here in the state of Wisconsin. So what happens to the money that's being raised through the auction? Yeah, so all the money that's earned tonight from this auction gets reinvested in dairy promotion here at the Wisconsin State Fair. So all of the fairgoers that come here to Wisconsin State Fair get to learn how milk is turned into cheese and other dairy products and how they get to enjoy those high quality products. That's amazing. And the reason that I think it's so amazing is like the Wisconsin farmers, the milk, the cheese makers, the butter, all that is so deep in our identity and DNA. It is. Do you feel like being from Sheboygan, you have a special angle on that? Absolutely, I'm a dairy farmer. Yeah. So, I mean, we always have to celebrate America's Dairyland, and we are so proud of the high quality products that are here in our state, and all the people that put the time, effort, and labor into making those products, from the milk and the farmers milking those cows, to the people making those products. Well, thank you so much for your work and your endeavors to really raise the bar of consciousness on the Wisconsin dairy industry because as a chef I can say we play with the finest palette of ingredients anywhere in the world and that's all thanks to you the farmers so much love well thanks for being here we hope you enjoy some cheese here tonight oh I certainly will thank you so much thank you. okay the 2023 Wisconsin Grandmaster Cheesemaker is Brian Craig Craig Brothers Farmstead Cheese, Waterloo for the Chocolate Mars Capone. Now hurl the cheese like a frisbee. Just kidding. <laughs> Hopefully, with all this perspective, we'll be able to piece together some amazing culinary experiences. Additionally, I just missed my right turn. Uh, so we're gonna double back and grab Adam, but this afternoon, we also get to attend the cheese auction. Get in the van! What, what, are we even, what are we even doing back here? Why are we even <laughs> shot? I don't even get it. <laughs> Man, this is going to be some good people watching today. That's the whole reason I come here. Eight dollars a ticket to watch people all day. I'm putting it with my collection. Yeah, do it. You got an inflatable monkey collection? Wisconsin Foodie would like to thank the following underwriters. The dairy farmers of Wisconsin are proud to underwrite Wisconsin Foodie and remind you that in Wisconsin, we dream in cheese. Just look for our badge. It's on everything we make. Did you know Organic Valley protects over 400,000 acres of organic farmland? So are we an organic food cooperative that protects land? Or land conservationists who make delicious food? Yes. Yes, we are. Organic Valley. Employee-owned Nugler's Brewing Company has been brewing and bottling beer for their friends only in Wisconsin since 1993. Just a short drive from Madison, come visit Swiss Wisconsin and see where your beer is made. Wisconsin's great outdoors has something for everyone. Come for the adventure, stay for the memories. Go wild in Wisconsin. To build your adventure, visit dnr.wi.gov. 20 minute commutes, weekends on the lake, warm welcomes, and exciting career opportunities. Not to mention all the great food. There's a lot to look forward to in Wisconsin. Learn more at inwisconsin.com with additional support coming from The Conscious Carnivore. From local animal sourcing to on-site, high-quality butchering and packaging, The Conscious Carnivore can ensure organically raised, grass-fed, and healthy meats through its small group of local farmers. The Conscious Carnivore, know your farmer, love your butcher. Additional support from the following underwriters. Also with the support of Friends of PBS Wisconsin. Are you hungry for more? Then go to our YouTube channel and subscribe and be in the loop every time we release new content, behind the scenes footage, and new episodes that you can preview before anyone else. Check us out.